Hello there. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what timber framing is. Sometimes I get off the rails and go too deep, but I'm going to really try to keep it simple. So most people know what Abraham Lincoln log cabin is. Round logs, bark off, stacked up. Some people confuse timber framing with log cabins when I tell them what I do. It's like a log cabin except nothing stacked horizontally. Logs are cut to be square and it's posts and beams. A lot of times you'll see the angular knee braces for racking strength. That is timber framing. So it's not log cabins. It's square beams and posts that are connected with wood pegs. So there's some joinery involved with that. The post generally is cut down to have a little nubbin or a little piece that sticks up. And the beam has a piece carved out of it that fits that nubbin, the tenon. They come together and multiple, sometimes a singular hole, sometimes multiple holes are drilled with bang, 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 round pegs shot through the holes. And it connects it. And that leads me to post and beam construction, which is a little more well known to the layperson. And post and beam construction looks exactly like timber framing, square with the knee braces, beams, except they use metal plates on the outsides of the post and beam, pow, pow, with bolts going through the metal plates, connecting everything. So there's kind of two different looks and both construction methods have their advantages and disadvantages. Timber framing is the oldest as it did not involve metal technology and people could do it all with woodworking tools which are easier to do than metal. So that's kind of the difference between log cabin, timber framing, and post and beam construction. Now let me talk about conventional construction as we know it today. Sometimes it's called stick building, it's where walls are built with 2x4 or 2x6 studs and there's plywood on the floor, all nominally sized lumber that's small, connected with nails. So conventional construction with the walls that are built and the smaller rafters framing the roof, that is combined now with the artistry and the beauty and the lore of timber framing and hybrid timber framing is, is born from timber framing and conventional framing. And it's really been a good thing. People get to express themselves, make their home personalized and feel warm and cozy. Sometimes there's a mix of very modern and very rustic. There's just a plethora of ways to mix and match and do fun stuff when building. That's all for today. If you can give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll get more out to you. Thank you.